hit the oh, oh he was he's in. He's up. Now no threes. Hug your guy, yo, it's solo! I'm not glad this is like a must-win game. We actually have to win. He's only so off. He's actually one. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double HD, and I'm back in the building with yet another banger. And the second event ever of NBA 2K21 Next Gen is out. It's called the 90s event. It gives out unlimited steals boosts, a jacket, and a couple arms. So your boy decided to participate. So make sure to drop a like on the video right now. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 400k on the way we are so close to 400,000 subscribers so just hit that sub button it's literally a click of a button but anyways i played in two of the servers of the 90s events and at the time of this recording there's only been two servers and i actually won both of them i recorded four hours all four hours of each server so i'm going to show you guys each server i'm going to show you guys the first one that i won then i'm going to show you guys a shortened version of the second one and yes your boy won 90s twice in one day Okay, the first time it was ever out, two for two. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into this banger, man. Let's get it. Okay, y'all, so here we are in the event. This is the first 90s event of NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now, going into this event, as you can see, we walk in. We have no idea what to expect. As you can see, we see the leaderboards, and immediately I'm telling my teammates, oh, my God, there's a top 10. Like, we don't know anything. We don't know the rewards. We didn't know there was a top 10. We didn't know what to expect. Some people thought this could even be, like, a court conquer. Like, we had zero idea on what to expect from this event so me and my boys walk into the tube we go up and boom we see there's a it's a four hour event there's a top 10 and it gives out unlimited steals boost and a jacket so we're like okay this is a w event this is a new event something new this is something we need 2k if you're watching this video you're probably not we need more events like this new four hour events that give out unlimited boost and give out some cool clothes but anyways we were running a six foot seven uh guard and i was on my 610 iso build but it's not really an iso build i play with it as like it's an interior finisher it's gonna be an iso build when i hit legend though and then we had a six seven lockdown okay now our method was the exact same method it was in bootcamp now by the way remember the dude on the rights gamer tag right here remember his gamer tag at the end of this video okay just just letting y'all know but anyways we get into the first game as you can see i flashy past the chad he shoots a fade three and boom we have team takeover we basically did this every single game just like boot camp you see i get the rip i'm throwing it to chad i'm just he goes out the screen passes the pass to me we're just trying to end the game right that's our first game ended the first game in the books in the 90s event now something we noticed after the first game is look at it doesn't even show you the leaderboards so we were only basing the leaderboards off of what we saw in the background of like the actual tent and sometimes those leaderboards were frozen so that was like a massive problem like because sometimes that would freeze and we would have no idea where we were on the boards but as you can see right here chad is first and i am third place after the first game i just dropped a fourth chad dropped the second and look at solos in first place after the first game we're seven minutes in now basically our strategy was to catch six lobs a game and then i would assist chad on all of his three pointers and we would both get like anywhere from 12 to 16k a game as you can see I'm third place, Chad is second place. We are doing really good. We ended two games in 15 minutes. That's a W. You see right here, I already got my lobs in. I already got 12 points in. He's gonna throw another lob. You know, it's whatever. I got my 12 points, I got my six lobs. You see, we hawking that elite one bar, but look at 22 minutes in, me and Chad are top three. Now remember, we're, we're hawking. We're going crazy right now, you know what I'm saying? We better win this 90s event. 18, 14, my boy Chad Curry slide, bang, nothing but net. 30 minutes in, and we are both still top three. We're going crazy. Nothing's really going wrong, you know what I'm saying? I got my six lobs in this game. Chat hits another green, 21-13. You know what I'm saying? It's just easy wins. We're just we're getting through these games easy. I'm, li I'm literally first place right now, y'all. First place. But look at what happens here. We load into a game, right? We load it into a game. I'm first place, Chad's third place everything is going well right so we match up with this team right here now like i said in the boot camp event you know 
These events are based off timing. You have to end games fast and efficiently. You have to get my points and everything. But look it. Chad lagged out. He got an error code. That's not good. So not only is Chad lagging out, he's not going to get any of my points, but we have to finish this game and win this game with an AI, which we actually did. I had 12 points. I got my lobs in. I had 12k. That was a good game. So now we have to back out. By the way, we're 45 minutes in. I'm second place. Chad got no my points for that. So he's going to be screwed. I got an error code. So then I had a dashboard. Now I have to load up, accept his invite. We have to squat up, go back into the event. And I couldn't get in their event center. Like I, it took like three tries. Now we're finally back in. That took about like five minutes. Look at, I'm still second place. Chad is not top 10 though, but I'm still second after all those loading screens and everything. Anyways, get to the next game. We get our lobs in, blah, blah, blah. 55 minutes in, I'm second. These leaderboards started to freeze though. But look what happens. You see that little glitch? Like, I just knew something was about to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, the game didn't just load in. It loaded with, like, Chad facing the scoreboard. Like, 2K, what is that? What's going on here? I already knew something was about to happen. Look at it. Chad lags out again. Now, not only did he lag out in this game, but the game before that, he, that we won, that we got the my points for, he didn't get those points for. So that's three games in a row. That Chad got nothing for. Now we're playing with an AI. We're struggling. We're, we're literally every bucket right now is just struggle buckets. We're just, I'm telling you, Hoodie, I'll just force the lob. Um, I'm forcing driving labs. Like we have no offense because Hoodie's on a lock. I'm on a player that can't dribble or shoot. It has no shooting badges right now and all that good stuff. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? You know, we're down nine to two. Chad hasn't gotten any of my points in the last like 30 Bruh. minutes. He, and at the end of this game, he is 30th place, which is pretty far out of the top 10. It might sound like it's good, but it's really not. It's like four or five games out of the top 10. I'm just trying to get any kind of my points in this game to actually like secure some type of my points so i'm not like totally behind as you see we're just forcing lobs that was another struggle bucket like we barely got that i'm forcing driving labs we get a lucky rebound i get it i just standing up like, these are struggle buckets i don't know how we're only down one right now but you see they go in the corner wide open three that's green like there's no way we win this game we already won one game with chad's ai keep that in mind we get another lob you know what i'm saying at least i'm getting some type of my points but, like, there's no way we win. You see Chad with, or not Chad, the other dude with the green. We're down 17 to 12. I got no energy once again. Wide open. Green, 20 to 12. At this point, I'm like, okay, Hoodie, we lost. Just force a lob. If we don't get it, who cares? Just end the game. They green this shot. And at this point, now we have to join Chad's event center. And we lost. I only got, like, 6K my points for this. And once again, Chad has not gotten any my points for, like, the last 30 minutes. So I have to join the squad, we get back in, and at this point, we're like an hour and five minutes in. It says I'm third place, which I think I was actually at the time, but Chad's not even close to the top, you know what I'm saying? And then we get matched up with this clan, bro. This sweaty stage clan. These dudes are gonna, they're sweating this event. You know, they're trying to win, you know what I'm saying? So as you can see, we have team takeover from flashy passes. This dude drives in, dunks on Chad. It's whatever. We're up four. Now we're only up two. We just have to score. Chad with the fade. It's a white. I luckily get the board. That was a huge board. Because, you know what I'm saying? We can't be losing anytime soon. Chad with a big green. That was a, that was a good shot. He's shooting over those right there. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyways, 17 to 12. These dudes got the ball. They hit the pop. That was a nice pop. I'm not going to lie. not expecting that. He hits the shot. 17 to 15. We come down the other end. Chad with a white. And oh, shout out to the 2K gods with that one, bro. We needed it. We really needed that one. I'm not going to lie. This dude gets baited. Look at the rotations on defense, though. We are, we were communicating out here. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, these dudes, they're, you know, they're struggling to get a bug right now. There's five seconds on the shot clock. He stepped back, shoots a white. We don't get the board somehow, but we're up five. We're just trying to end this game, you know what I'm saying? We have this comp game locked in. Hoodie gets a clutch steal i tell chad give it to me give me dunk. we're out of this game and this is chad's first time getting a game in getting the my points for it in like almost four like almost like 35 minutes like that was that was like bad like i don't know like three or four games worth of time anyways next game we're in a really close game these dudes are running three six seven scoring machines ice on him this dude is shot creating takeover we're like we need to stop we need to stop he's trying to fade hoodie's got locked take though look at me baiting i got this dude and boom, 
I forced him out of bounds. That was a huge stop right there. We needed that stop. I'm setting a screen for Chad. I'm telling Chad, I don't care about ref this possession. Let's just win the game. We need to win this game. I set him a screen. He goes off the dribble fade. Green, let's go. We ended the game 21 to 17. That's another comp game. That's back to back comp games. We win and we're starting to get back into it. As you can see, now I'm eighth place. I just snuck in back into the top 10 and Chad is nowhere to be found in the top 10. He's probably top 20 now. Chad Green's the three. I had my 12 points, which means I got my six lobs. So that was a W game. Got about 15K my points and boom. The, the leaderboards are starting to freeze, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're trying not to pay attention to the leaderboards. That's another thing if you're trying to win this event. Stop looking at the leaderboards at some point and just lock in. We're trying to end games fast. Get our lobs in, get our, get our wins in. At this point, we're just saying if we don't lose, we'll easily win the event. You know what I'm saying? 18 to 12 right here. I'm trying to get my assist right here. I tell Chad, shoot that, give me my assist. He greens it 21 to 12. Once again, almost every game I have 12 points and Chad has nine points. We get our six lobs, then we shoot three threes. You know what I'm saying? After we get team takeover. Once again, these leaderboards were delayed. There's about two hours and 20 minutes left and boom. We're in a close game again. 1918, that dude somehow hit that three. Or I mean, he was wide open and we have to force that. Oh my God, thank, thank God that went in, bro. We forced that lob. I cannot lie. We definitely forced it. Once again, leaderboards are still glitched. Two hours and five minutes. We have no idea where we are on the board. So we're just like, okay, it's just time to lock in. You know what I'm saying? We got to lock in. I'm coming down the court with takeover. Chad throws the lob. 21 to 14. We're starting to win games by a decent amount. Seven, eight points, which is really good in these events because everyone has their main players. You know what I'm saying? So everyone can shoot this year. Everyone has a 90-something three-pointer. Anyways, we go into the next game, right? We go into the next game. We match up against these dudes. Nothing special, right? A couple pro fives, all star four, nothing crazy, nothing to worry about, right? But once again, these dudes were some bugs. They were hitting whites, they were doing their thing. First shot, it's a white, it goes down. We go off already down three to zero. That's not good. That's, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be down early. Chad shoots a contested fade, doesn't go in. I don't get the board on top of it. It is looking bad. If they score right here, it's looking bad. Chad gets a steal. We're chilling. Okay, this is an easy lob, right? He throws wide open lob. Bruh. And I missed 2K. Are we serious? I missed that. We get another stop. It's 3-0. to zero. I got no energy. I flashy the Chad. Trying to get team take. He greens it. Boom. Team takeover. It's 3-3. Three to three. We're chilling, right? Doesn't seem like there's much to worry about. This dude gets a wide open dunk. 5 to 3. Once again, these dudes are just bugs. You know what I'm saying? They're not letting us get lobs. They're getting in the way. They're, they, they're hitting their open shots. They're hitting their whites. 8 to 3. And look at it. One of their dudes quit. So now they have an AI. It don't matter. 10 to 6. We're down 10 to 6. No one's like, okay, we kind of need to score here. We can't not score here. Sets Chad the screen. He greens the fade. 10 to 9. We need a stop, bro. We have zero stops on these dudes, and they have an AI. This dude shoots some contested stuff. Luckily, I get that board. Chad goes down, throws me the lob. Oh, I just punished that boy right there, low key. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anyways, 14 to 11, we're losing. We need a bucket, right? We need a bucket. Chad is an AI. I'm like, bro, just shoot over him. It's an AI. He does exactly that. 14 to 14. We still really haven't gotten a single stop this entire game, which is kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do we how do we not have a stop yet? You know what I'm saying? 17 to 14, that AI hit a white. Chad comes back, hits a green, it's 17 to 17. At this point, we need to stop. Because if they score here, then we're in trouble. And that's exactly what they did is score. 19 to 17, so not only do we need a three, but we also need to not give up a three afterwards. So I throw a flashy, I'm like, fuck it. We going for it. We gotta risk it for the biscuit. He's going for the three right here. Curry side, green, 20 to 19. We need a stop. We cannot, we cannot manage to lose again. We need a stop right here, right now. He's got log tech. He's ice wind. Chad's clamping him up. This is it. We have to get a stop here. I'm there. He shoots a white. And it drops. It drops. He hits a white. And even though, you know what I'm saying, they low-key got bailed, we can't be having close games like this. You see, I only got 5K my points. We have to load back in the event. There's about an hour and a half left. And that put us down a lot. We're in another close game. 18 to 17. Chad, Chad shoots a green. 21 17. Luckily, we closed that game out. And now it's like, okay, we really have to stop losing. Like, we have to lock in. At this point, there's an hour and a half left. And look what happens, yo. Look at who we match up with. The person who is second place, first place right now. 
Solo DF, uh, my own clan member. We are literally clan mates. We match up with Solo. He's a formula winner. You know what I'm saying? Or not formula. Uh, whatever it's called. The you know the new event in next gen. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, 16 to 14. We have team takeover after the flashy. Chat doors drop 18 to 14. We got a comfortable lead. You know what I'm saying? And we have team takeover. Hoodies on solo. I'm helping. I'm not letting solo get a three. Wide open center shoots the ball. And he makes it. It wasn't even a full. Like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't even get a full bar or anything. He mistimed it and they gave him the way. Once again, the lob is wide open. He gives me the regular pass. I dunk it 20 to 17. We need a stop and we need a score. This is a big win right here. This is a big win because these dudes, solo's in the top 10. We're clamping up solo. We're no threes. We're saying no threes. We can give up a two, no threes, but let's try to get a stop. As you can see right here, solo's trying to come off the screen. I'm not letting it happen. Look at the pickup defense. I'm here. I'm not giving up a three. He shoots the heavily. I'm clamping solo on that possession. Hoodie gets the board. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Take your time. We got to close out this game. Chad goes up for the mid range. Green, we get him off the court. GG, so did my boy solo. I had 20 points that game, all off of dunks because they were just double teaming Chad. And the defense wins us that game. And as you can see, now I'm back in fifth place. Chad is starting to climb up the ranks again. We blow up that team. We are starting to get back in business. We are here. We are here. You know what I'm saying? We are back on the leaderboards. I'm fifth place. Chad is climbing the boards. As you can see, he shoots that fade. I get the rebound. Back out to Chad. Shoots the green. 21 to 11. At this point, you know what I'm saying? We almost have about an hour left in the event. This is the final countdown. An hour and 10 minutes. An hour and 10. And at this point, Chad is going from 10th to 11th to 12th. He's hovering around those. And boom. Hoodie quits the game. We're like, what happened? Apparently, Hoodie's Wi-Fi shut off, all that stuff. He actually got fried. He got booted offline. So me and Chad are like, okay, what are we going to do? We need, we need to get a new teammate. So I hit up my boy Hydrix. We, he invited us to his event center. We switched around our badges. We, we got in the same event center. We had to go through all those load times. About five minutes later, we're in with our new teammate. So we had to pick up a whole new teammate because our main teammate got fried offline. Somebody was mad they lost against us. I don't know who it was, but they were mad. 51 minutes to go. I am 7th place. Once again, Chad is right behind Clutch. You see Clutch is in 10th place. Clutch is DF. Chad's in like 11th, 12th. He's hovering around there. We need to sneak him into the top 10. 43 minutes left. Now, at this rate, Chad is 10th place. At the, Right when our games end, Chad is 10th place. But then he goes down to 11th or 12th, like 30 seconds later. So we need to increase his window of when he is top 10. You know what I'm saying? We just need to keep make get it, you know, making up time. We need to keep getting in our games, getting our rep, doing everything we need to do to secure it. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'm I'm low-key secure. We just gotta get Chad in the top 10. 18 to 17. Need to win this game. I get my assess. 21 to 17. It's looking like a W. It's looking like a W. We got this. You know what I'm saying? Then we get into this game. Now, remember in the beginning of the video, the first game, I said, remember that gamer tag, right? Okay, so we won that game, remember? Look at the dude with the Santa hat. It's the same exact dude, okay, right? We beat him in the first game of this event, and you know, coincidentally, we're playing him in potentially the last game of this event. There's about 14 minutes left. He gets the ball, and look at what this dude is doing. I swear, I cannot play an event without someone holding ball. I don't get what people get out of this. I don't get what the point of this. He knows he's not going to win. He sees me and Chad fighting for top 10. So he's like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to just hold ball to try to lower their chances as much as possible. And he held ball the entire game. Every possession, he wasted it down to the last second. All 24 seconds. Shot a full court. Every single possession okay this was bad at this point me and chad are thinking that there's no way chad wins his event like zero there's no way right there's about you know what i'm saying 14 minutes left now after getting out of that game we have to get two games in 14 minutes chad greens at three 21 to 16 now this was the last game right here we just ended it as soon as possible but as you can see, I'm going to go into the live commentary of the last 30 seconds of the event. Chad DF was competing with Clutch DF to see who could get 10th place. Here's the reaction of what happened. You're ninth. You're ahead of power. 19 seconds. God damn it. You're 10th now. 15 seconds. There's five seconds. Nine seconds. Oh, damn. 10, 9, 
It's over. Eight, it's over right now. It's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back out. You fucking won! You won! <laughs> Let's fucking go! You won! You fucking won! <laughs> like I won, like I won, like I won the event. I won, I won, I won. Henry, I won. Henry. You fucking won! You won! I won, like I won. Cuts lost, cuts lost, cuts lost. I won, I won. I won the event. Like I'm in time. As you can see, we did win the event. I eventually got my rewards. I decided to pick unlimited steel boost and the 90s jacket. This was a W event. Me and Chad both won, and we were like, you know what? We're gonna go for this event again in the second server, which is exactly what we did. But these are the rewards you get. You can select two prizes out of unlimited steel boost, 50k VC, the denim jacket, and the arm sleeve. So of course, I'm trying to get all the unlimited boosts. Right now I have unlimited playmaking boosts. Now I'm gonna get unlimited steel boosts, which is two out of the six boosts. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to collect all of them this year. You know what I'm saying? So, on some collector stuff. So I decided to go with the unlimited steel boost to secure that. And then obviously I think the jacket is the best. So I selected the jacket and that's exactly what uh, we got. You know what I'm saying? The jacket's kind of a W, it's something new. You know, some of y'all might think it's ugly, but it's just something new, which is what I like. As long as it's new, I will take it. That's good enough for me. But anyways, the second server, we're gonna jump mid into it. Two hours and 20 minutes left. Chat is second place and I am 10th place right here. Now this was an interesting one. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, now there, we jump a lot later into the event. Five minutes left. I am seventh place. Place Chad is fourth place. Look at Solo at the end there. Solo also won again. Me, Chad, Solo all went two for two on this event. Now, this was the last game right here. We needed to score. There was like 30 seconds left in this event, and we needed to end this game to for me to win it, right? Chad was securing no matter what. I pass it back to Chad. There's like 10 seconds left. He greens it with like literally less than 10 seconds left in the event. We got the game in, and it actually counted. As you see, a boy secured again. I got seventh place, and yes, I won the 90s event twice in literally one day less than one day like literally like 12 hours to be honest with you i secured the rewards again you're gonna see the leaderboards in a second here and this time i chose the 50 kbc in the right arm sleeve you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be making a lot of builds this year so i could use the vc but yes we secured the event again look at me and power power actually ended up winning the event in the first server we don't want to say we're matching out here rate our fits in the comment section right now one to ten but listen, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys want more event videos. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you guys are not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Here's the screenshots on the screen of the leaderboards so y'all can see. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching the video, man. Appreciate y'all coming through, supporting the channel. Anyways, y'all, it's been your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double HDF, man. And I'm out, y'all. I ain't never Peace. had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same. Probably they're my dumb. She said, can you stay with me? No, I got to go. Diamond dripping off my neck. It's wet. I'm about to flex up on my necks.